What is going on you guys? It is that time again for another Player Era Project. This time we're doing the Hall of Famer offensive guard Joe DeLamalure, also known as Joe D. They called him. He was elected in the Hall to the Hall of Fame in 2003. He played 13 seasons in the NFL. Six of those was all pro and the and six of them was Pro Bowl. So one hell of an offensive guard for his entire career. Um, a member of the 1970s All-Decade team. He was on the Bills. He was traded to the Browns in 1980. Um, he's one hell of a TTMer. He signs fairly frequent. Um, doesn't require a donation at the time. Um, will be sending a donation just by the sure amount of cards we're asking him to sign. Let's go ahead and turn this thing around and show some of these cards off. Joe Delamalure. I don't think I pronounced his his name right. This is like the sixth time making this video. I'm gonna just move on um, and chalk it up that I can't pronounce his last name. Um, so I'm gonna try two rookie cards in this one. Um, Joe is one hell of a TTM or he's he's signed TTM for many many years. Um, so I don't think I'm going out on a limb too much on this one. Um, counting these as I shoot this video, it looks like we have what four, eight, twelve, about sixteen cards. So we'll send one hundred and twenty dollars, or no, I'm sorry, one hundred and sixty dollars. My math is off, and uh, hopefully Joe D thinks that's enough to sign these cards with Hall of Fame inscription. I really like these stickers, man. I think they're so cool doing these projects. I've put it in a couple of my um, player era projects in the comment section, but if there's a player that you think you know you'd like to see me try, um, leave it in the comment section down below. Um, I'm always looking for new ideas and so on and so forth. Um, you see that last card down there? It's definitely not a player era card, but anyone that knows me knows I do have a small national um, card collecting convention. PC, if you will. I um, always think these cards and, and stuff from the Nationals really cool. Definitely reminds me of all the cool times hanging out with the community at the shows of the past. So that is that. Um, let's see what happens, y'all. Another one has returned. Yeah, you see Eric <laughs> watching a little baseball card junkies right here see even they're sitting here wanting to see this reveal <laughs> looks like it is the only guy that I've sent off that I can't pronounce his name Joe Delamadour I believe it's pronounced dude I haven't got it right yet um, but this looks, yep, this is awesome. Awesome, they're all signed. Um, let's go ahead and get some of these bad boys out of the way, man. Look at this thing. I think, I don't know if these are Pawini or if these are tops. Yep, these are definitely tops. Um, I was looking at some stickers the other day and they were actually made by Panini and they were older stickers like these. Yeah, this one's tops as well. So, really cool cards, man. I love these little stickers. Got not one, but two rookie cards. Hang on here. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're still in order. These things just look beautiful, man. This, the Sharpie. Let's hope it goes all the way through like this, because this Sharpie is strong, man. This one's really nice. Someone asked me the other day um, in the, one of the comments of ideas of who to send to for these player era projects. Um, and really, I mean, just anyone that signs TTM, man. It doesn't have to be a cash donation like I send. I just do it because I TTM these guys so much already. 
and I feel like this is a bit overkill. Um, but if you have a very nice, genuine letter and you explain why you're doing it and what you're doing it, or what you're doing, I should say, um, I'm sure most gentlemen will not have a problem signing one of every card that came out when they played. Um, some guys that I was thinking about doing that aren't Hall of Famers is like Carl Metlenberg, um, which, hell, he might be a Hall of Famer before too long. Um, Ernest Givens, my favorite football player as a kid, the longtime Houston Oiler wide receiver. Um, Ray Childress, another one of my all-time favorite Houston Oilers as a kid. Oh, that's a freaking beaut, man. Oh my gosh, I love these national exclusive cards. Not this particular card, just national cards together, man. Getting them signed. I freaking love it. Um, but I mean, there's all kind of dudes. Like, I guarantee you in baseball, you could probably try Don Sutton. Um, you could probably try Wade Boggs. Um, Raleigh Fingers. Andre Dawson. You know, there's a bunch of dudes you can try. Uh, most of those, I would probably try a cash donation as well, but you just never know, man. So, the, these projects aren't really cheap, because you have to buy, you know, one of each card, and I try to buy decently uh, in shape cards, cards that aren't beat to hell. So, it's not cheap, but it's really, really fun, man, especially putting these bad boys in the binder, and the binder that I've been putting them in is just getting fatter and fatter and fatter. Just like me, man. It's great. So that is that. I hope you all enjoyed this player error project. As always, I'll probably say it in every single video. These are my favorite ones to do. Um, so till next time, adios, be safe. Bye-bye. Toodles. Yeah. Bye, guys.